Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club and Schroeder Skywalker from the DFS Club, the co-host, coming to you guys with the MLB seven-game slate video. Can we get a amen, hallelujah, Schroeder? Amen. All right, buddy. So if you're new, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave us a comment down below, smash that bell icon so you know when videos are dropped. Sometimes we go live, right? He says, yeah, sometimes. And if you're new, as long as he hangs around, last night he didn't hang around, but I don't force him to, you know, he works hard too. But Schroeder here will be giving us his three home run calls at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, hopefully you had a good weekend. Uh, two out of three DK main slate cash today. Uh, early, shoot, was not early, turbo slate cast. Pretty good weekend overall, I have to say. Pretty good weekend. Hopefully you guys did too. Welcome to all the new members of the DFS Club, and welcome back to you guys, man. So let's get into it. Seven Gamer, let's go over the game-by-game -game breakdown. Hopefully you guys got to do some stuff with your families and, you know, had some fun. I went into the, uh, my wife said, since we're having such a bad drought here in California that, I like to fish, as you all know. So, you know, the water, the fish are way out there now. They're way out there in the middle of the lake. So I got to, went down, my wife said, treat yourself, go on and get a big 12 foot rod. So I go to the uh, Bass Pro Shops, uh, which is nice of her, by the way. Those aren't, those aren't cheap. So I go in the Bass, Bass Pro Shops. And I'm like, man, so I'm trying to cast at least 100 yards out there, right? I need to get to the middle of this fucking lake. Um, and he says, hey, man, are you sure? He said, you know, 12-foot rod, you'll get it out to the middle of the lake. But they're kind of hard to handle. And I said, hey, look here, Jack. I used to handle my baby's mama. She's 450 pounds. I think I can handle this 12-foot rod. And he looked at my wife. I said, no, it ain't her. Don't worry about it. He said, oh, boy, I thought you were dead where you were standing. But no, man. And then he started laughing. It was all good. So that was my weekend. So I got a nice gift. Um hard to handle man my goodness all right let's bring it up en enough with story hour guys uh let's see all right so here we go off the tops we got phillies at washington so just a heads up so far no weather concerns and a lot of unannounced pitchers so we're probably going to look at a lot of bullpen games so if you got if you thought yesterday's slate was ugly with pitching oh today just tops it guys we got the Phillies at Washington, 4.7 implied total for the Phillies, 4.4 for the Washington Nationals. Ranger Suarez, whoever that is, he's only 4.6K for the Phillies. And jo Josiah, that's a pretty cool name, actually. Josiah Gray at 7.6 for Washington. Next up, we got Baltimore at the Yankees. So hopefully we'll get to see this Yankees team that they built, man, this offense do something. They still ain't doing nothing with all this talent, so... They'll be at home, so maybe we'll finally see it. I'm liking it. The Yankees will be one of my stacks. We got Jorge Lopez at 5.1K versus Andrew Bobby the Brain Heaney at 8.6. And what's the weather going to be like there? 80 degrees. Eh, it's all right. It's good hitting weather. We got the Seattle Man Mariners at the Tampa Rays, 3.9 for Seattle, 4.7 at Tampa. Chris Flexen at 7.1 versus Michael Waka 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 Fozzie Barrett, 8.4K. We got Tyler McGill at, for the New York Mets. Implied total 3.9 runs. We don't know who's going to take them out for Miami yet. They're at home again, unfortunately. I know it's not. It's a pitcher friendly park, so if you're like me, you like to see home runs and stuff. You know, fun stuff like that. Then, uh, yeah, kind of out of luck there. So we'll find out tomorrow. So definitely going to be a bullpen game. Next up, we got the Angels at Texas. We, I'm sure the roof will be closed. Um, 4.1 implied total for the Angels, 3.6 implied total for the Texas Rangers. Oh my, and today's a game at the Rangers game. I think it was today or Saturday. Uh, Owen Schroyer dropped, dropped a flag <laughs> during the beginning of the game, one of them huge flags, and then got his ass uh, kicked out by security. You guys should go check it out. Um, so don't know who's pitching for the Angels. We got Dane Dunning on the mound for Texas. And Shohei Otani could be pitching. We don't know. Could be. Pirates at Milwaukee. We got Pittsburgh 3.5 implied total. 
Milwaukee 5.2, which is kind of high. We got Brian Wilson 6K versus Eric Lauer at 9K. And last but certainly not least, we got the San Francisco Giants taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Anthony Del Scafani, I call him Gwen Stefani at 9.3K versus Tyler Windeninner. Windeninner. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. He's 8K. Like Del Scafani tonight. One of my favorite pitchers. So. That's it for the game by game breakdown. I mean, it's not much seeing is that there's only what seven games and a lot of unknown pitchers. We don't know who's pitching tomorrow. I would assume Shohei Otani is going to pitch tomorrow, but they haven't released it, so I can't officially say, "Hey, hey, Jack, that's who's going to pitch." Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to join the DFS club. If you want the lineups, guys, the cheat sheets, the Discord, the members only podcast, one hour before lock, it's one, the only dfsclub.com. You know what it is, guys. DFS Pace. He's been putting out some fire ass videos, not just DFS, but just the uh, NBA stuff like trades and rumors and all that good stuff. Go check them out, guys. Him and myself, we've been holding this down since day one. My brother from another mother, you get every single sport, guys. NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball. We got that big UFC card this weekend. Click join now. I'm already studying up for that one. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And pick your plans, guys. We're the cheapest in the industry. NFL is just right around the corner. Weeks away, guys. $14.99 a month. We're going to play preseason. We're going to play... Uh, NBA, or it's not NBA, but we're going to play summer league basketball. Can't wait for that. That's always profitable. Um, six month yearly plans and three day passes, guys. So come check us out again. We have a whole Discord just dedicated to certain channels like prize picks, sports wagering, you name it. We got it, guys. And the members only podcast, lineups, cheat sheets, ownership, everything you will ever need to be a better DFS player, guys. It's dfsclub.com. Huh. All right, so now that you know how to join the family, let's bring up Draft Dashboard, the sponsor of the video, which I'll be using for this video, guys. It is my go-to. It is $1 for 30 days. All you got to do is click on the link in the description below. You can have Draft Dashboard. You can try it out for 30 days, guys. If you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, you can cancel it anytime. It's no hassles, none of that bullshit. You get access to all my player pools, guys, all my watch players, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting you right in the old prison pocket, guys. The sleepers and studs of the slate and the MLB cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, cheat, get the best studs, best mid-tier, best value. This is Draft Dashboard. All right, we got all the homework out the way, guys. Thanks for sitting through my plugs. I really appreciate it. It's what keeps this channel going. It's what keeps the club going. So I really do appreciate it, guys. So let's go to the position optimizer, and we'll start off at pitcher. So we got Tyler McGill, 9.6K, supposed to pitch, I guess. <laughs> That's what Draft Dashboard has. So it is the night before. I don't know. Won't know for sure till tomorrow. But if that's the case, he's a decent pitcher, man. And especially at home, a very pitcher-friendly park, 18, 26, 14, 16, 20. Against the Mets, sorry, against the Marlins. Sorry, guys. The Marlins have, uh, yeah, they have nobody. So, don't mind it at 9-6. A pitcher-friendly Paul Bark makes it even better. So, And then next up, I'm kind of back and forth here on Bobby the Brain Heaney. He's had two good outings in his you know last two. He pitched seven and six innings. His ERA, though, it's 5.27. He's not been good this year. But he's been traded to the Yankees. This will be his first game home with the Yankees. So, he's going to want to really show out. Like I keep saying, you guys have been watching my videos. These new, newly guys that got traded, they're going to want to show off, and especially in his first home game in the Bronx. So I'll probably know by tomorrow if I want to take some shots with Barry the Brain Heaney at 8.6K. Um, it's just, it's tough. Dane Dunning, though, for 6.3, maybe taking a shot on some GPPs. Five, five, six innings pitch in his last three, 26, 16. He's going up against the Angels team that, you know, they're another one of those teams that are rebuilding. So you saw what the A's pitchers did to them this weekend. The offense is really struggling. So a lot of key figures will be missing. All they got to basically worry about is Otani. And maybe some uh, 
So Walsh is on the uh, disabled list. So maybe some Matt Stassi. Matt Stassi's red hot right now. But other than that, Dane Dunning, not a bad shot at 6'3". And another pay-up option I like is Adam Gwen Stefani at 9.3K. Against the Diamondbacks, man. I know I got lit up in his last outing, but look at this history against the Diamondbacks. 29, 20, 23, 11 in his last four. And again, they dealt out Eduardo Escobar. They're rebuilding guys, so they had some guy I've never heard of batting fifth today. So I'm sure he was a call-up from AAA. Adam Del Scafani makes all the sense in the world. Get him in there at 9-3. And that was it that I like for pitching, guys. Uh, Lauer looked kind of appealing until I saw he, you know, six, five, and then only pitched three innings. His ERA is pretty good, though, 378. But the strikeouts, not so much, not so much. But maybe I'll change my mind tomorrow. I don't know. So let's get into bats, guys, your favorite part. Let's see. Let's talk about some bats here. We've got Anthony Rizzo going to the Bronx, 4.7K, 5, 27, 21 in his last three, guys. Don't mind it at all against Lopez. Only three at bats. Um, one single. But, yeah, guys, he's going to want to show out at Yankee Stadium. So my two favorite sacks are going to be the, the Giants and – the New York Yankees. So I think this is the spot. This is the time we pulled the trigger. Uh, Chai France next up 4.2 K he's first base and second base eligible, which is always nice. That way you can fit, you know, who was it? The, the two Seattle guys that I liked, like they were both, uh, what was it? I think it was shortstop eligible. So I can only pick one, but they fixed it today. So um, 4.2 K lifetime against Waka. He's three for three, two singles and a double. He's been doing pretty decent lately, especially with this price tag. He always bats fourth, so I don't mind that. OPS versus righties is 880, almost hitting 900 now. So Ty France, not bad. You just hope he squeaks got a home run for you at 4.2K. Again, though, they're at that ballpark. It's a pitcher-friendly park, so home runs, that's where, that's where I call home runs go to die. Home runs turn into doubles, so... And if you're fast, a triple maybe. And then next up, Rowdy Tellez, man. He was having a great month and then kind of fell off here. Now, if he goes up against his cat, Wilson, he doesn't have one at bat against him. It does have one home run. And Milwaukee is projected to get a lot of runs tomorrow. So I think he gets off the schneid here. He's only had 0, zero 3 in his last three. So Rowdy Tellez at 3K with so much upside with his power. Definitely worth a look. Get him in there. And let's go to second base. All right. So Jeff McNeil, 5-1 is kind of steep, but he's been doing really good as of late. 14-2, 10, 18, 21. Going up, we think against Gutierrez for one for three with the homer. So one out of three, not bad. But what I really like is he's facing a righty. OPS against righties is 827. As opposed to lefties, where it's only 693. So a little little one-off here of the, of the Mets. Jeff McNeil's fine. Uh, Colton Wong for Milwaukee. I would think Milwaukee would probably be popular today. They've been popular lately, guys. It's because if one game, they put up a lot of runs. But two, they're very cheap, the stack. And there's a lot of upside. It's just sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. He normally leads off. He's 4.4K, 13, 17, 2 in his last three. And remember... He was almost 5K. He's batting 298, so almost 300. Eight home runs. Um, he's one of these guys that, that can always break a slate. He can always get two home runs in a game. 13, 17, 2, 7, 10 in his last five. Don't mind it, guys. Colton Wong, definitely worth a shot. Let's go to third base. Um, let's see. We already went over Chris Bryant because he's third base. Did we go over? I don't think we did. I don't know. Well, in case we didn't, Chris Bryant, you know, with that Yankee stat. Or, sorry, no, we didn't. I was thinking of as his teammate. So, since the Cubbies got rid of all their good players, Chris Bryant. I'm tripping, guys. Um, 5K. Going up against Arizona, guys. So, the Giants are making a run that. They're making a run for it. He homered in his first game as a Giant. 5K. Yes, he's worth it. Now, I understand when he was with the Cubs, he's what, 4-2, something like that. But, man, he's feeling it. He wants to – he's got the Dodgers to worry about. Who else do they got to worry about? The Dodgers and the Padres, right? So, the Giants are going to try and make a run. And they're going to try and finish the season strong and hold on to that top spot. Chris Bryant at 5K. I'm going to play him a lot for the rest of the season. So, 
get him in there today. Don't know who he's going up. I think he's going up against uh, Wendeneener here. So who knows? Um, Kyle Seager, 4-7. Yes, absolutely. Not known for his home runs. Never has been, really. But he gets fantasy points, guys. 7, 19, 11, 16, 16. So double-digit fantasy points, four out of his last five games. 4.7K is a little steep, but when you hit that 5K point or more, that's when you demand a home run out of a player, right? Under 4K, gets a couple doubles, you're all right. Two for five lifetime against Waka, Waka, Waka with a 400 batting average. OPS is getting up there against righties, guys, 791. So he's been hot as of late. Kyle Bob Seeger at 4.7. All right, let's go to shortstop. We got Brandon Crawford, part of this giant stack I like at 4.7K. Been on fire today. One for two lifetime against a wind niner with a home run. But it's a righty, guys. Let's face it. OPS versus righties, 895. Unbelievable. 10, 12, 12, 11, double-digit fantasy points, four of his last five. And talk about a guy who's just like found the fountain of youth here. Um, came out of nowhere, just like that's the story of this whole team. So love it. It's part of my giant stack. Uh, Willie Adonis at 5.1K. Been really good as of late. 14, 0, 25, 13, 3. Going up against Pittsburgh, guys. OPS, lefties, righties, it doesn't matter with him. I don't mind it at 5.1K. I might have some Milwaukee one-offs here. Maybe a little Colton Wong, a little Willie Adonis, maybe some Rowdy Tellas, but... I wouldn't go crazy with Milwaukee tomorrow. Let's go to outfield. All right. So Joey Gallo, part of that Yankee stack at 5.4K. Again, Yankee Stadium. I love that it's in Yankee Stadium. I will probably have a lot of stacks to the Yankees tomorrow, guys. I'm just saying. If they dud, they dud. But I'm not going with DJ LeMayhew. I'm not going with Aaron Judge. It's not a good matchup. But Joey Gallo will be one of them. Definitely. Uh, especially at 5.4K. Why not, right? Um, Aaron Judge. Ah, I had you guys fooled. Against Lopez, he's three for three, guys. Look at this. Three for three. Two home runs. A single and two home runs. Aaron Judge is my low-key player of the slate. He's 4'8". His price is going up a little bit, which I don't get because he really hasn't earned it yet. But you best believe it's looking like on paper these Yankees are going to score an but load of runs tomorrow, so get him in there at 4.8. Matt Yastrzemski, part of the Giants stack, 4.2K. One for two lifetime against Wind and Niner. Sound like a damn dog breed, but his OPS against righties, he's going to reach 1,000 by the end of the season. Right now it's at 9.17. Matt Yastrzemski, if you're going to stack the Giants, you got to get him in there, guys. What a season he's having. And uh, John Carlos Stanton here, he's only 4.1 now. If you're going to stack the Yankees, why not? At only 4-1, it is a right-handed pitcher. OPS against righties is 872. Don't know what happened with him. He Maybe he's hurt. He's hiding, he's hiding some kind of injury. Who knows? But at 4-1, you got to take some stats because the upside is there. You want to talk about two, three home run potential in one day? He can do it. He can easily do it. So 4.1K. Might be one of the lower owned uh, Yankees ball players, but we'll see, you guys. And I think that was it. Nope, we got Alex Dickerson, giant stack. Normally leads off. Normally, sometimes he don't. Sometimes he bats fifth. He's only three point three k. He's had a rough go of it. He's had a rough go lately. You know what that means, guys? He's just gonna have an explosion. So three point three k. I always put him with my giant stacks, man. And he's worked out for me, but I haven't played him in over five days. So, um, and that's, that's about it. Yeah. That's going to do it again. Pretty cut and dry, I guess. Pretty cut and dry for me. It is how I'm going to attack this seven game slate. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it, but let's get into some home run predictions here while we have this up. Um, Schroeder's over there again. He's fired. He's not getting salmon treats. That's it, Schroeder. <laughs> All right. So first home run pick is going to be none other than Matt Yastrzemski. I think he gets one tomorrow. My second home run call is going to be, of course, Aaron Judge. He's got two home runs off this pitcher and three at-bats. He is my second home run call. 
my third home run call, who's going to get us two home runs tomorrow, is going to be, drum roll please, none other than John Carlos Stanton, guys. So those are my home run calls. I don't get too crazy with them. I'm not going to be like other people and just call everybody out. But, yeah, guys, that's it for my home run predictions. And, again, guys, it's a seven-game slate. I might go a little heavier on this one because it's pretty cut and dry, I think. I think there's a way to get an edge here. And on certain stacks, I get to see where the ownership goes. It's just so much goes up, goes into this every single day. That's why it's we're grinding, guys. We're grinding. Uh, shout out to the club. Shout out to you guys. DFSclub.com. You want to come join the family? You know where to go. Draft dashboard's only one dollar for 30 days. And this week I'm gonna interview Cordell Maverick. Miranda Maverick's coach and her father, right? And she just got engaged today. So congratulations to Miranda. Congratulations. Um, and then we're going to get Jason, the vanilla gorilla, coming off his fight of the night. He's going to come back on here and talk to us. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. I do UFC fighter interviews and coaches. So everything that has to do with UFC. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you hanging out with me this Sunday night. Let's let's just take down every slate this week. Let's go. Let's take down, okay, maybe maybe four out of five days this week we're going to get takedowns. So I can live with that. So God bless you guys. God bless your families. God bless the pets. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. My name's Gabriel Skywalker. I am your host. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Take care.